All right, it is one minute after 12, and I'm going to get started here. Um, I'm going to record this webinar, so I will follow up with the recording. So keep an eye out for the follow-up email. Um, it'll have a recording and some supplemental resources in there. Hey, Emily, thanks for joining in here. Um, I'm just getting started. So for those who aren't familiar with who I am and my services, I am the social media specialist here at Coldwell Banker Weir Manual, Hubble Briarwood, and I handle everything, you know, social media world. Um, so I'm your go-to resource for, you know, questions, assistance. If you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting, happy to meet with you to go over your social media strategy or whatever it may be. Um, I also help out with social media postings across our social media channels. Um, so if you need a new listing graphic, open house, if you have a cool accolade or event coming up, um, feel free to reach out to me. Happy to create graphics for that, get those posted, and as well send those to you um, for your own personal use as well. So I am your go-to resource for anything social media-wise, so feel free to reach out. Uh, so for today's webinar, I'm going to keep it sort of brief here, um, but it's going to be all about um, your social media content calendar. Um, I'll go into a little bit of statistics to give you an overview of social media, why you should be using it, and then I'll go into that social media content calendar and give you some topic ideas as well as a visual of what a um, filled out content calendar would look like. So with that, I'll let it begin. So we're going to go on some stats here um, for social media usage and why you should be using it. Um, so these stats here are taken from National Association of Realtors and their digital report. Um, you can see here, 77% of realtors actively use social media for business in some way. Um, so it's a huge market of realtors are on social media. So if you're not on social media yet, definitely consider getting on that. Um, and then to the right there, 90% of baby boomers begin their home search online. So a huge demographic are starting their home searches online, and that's where you're going to want to be, whether on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, you definitely want to have a front-facing presence on these channels um, because it's always nice to see who you're working with before you're working with them. And social media gives you the opportunity to introduce yourself, interject your personality, and your market expertise. So a couple stats there. And below that, 47% of real estate businesses note that social media results in the highest quality leads versus other resources. So if you're pretty tech savvy, social media is going to be your, you know, your best friend. You know, treat it as you would in your your day-to-day -day, uh, business in real life. You know, you're connecting with people, you're networking people face-to-face. Um, -face. You know, treat social media the same way. We're connecting people with people digitally, you're reaching out to clients um, around your area, or you're connecting with other business leaders within your area, you know? Just translate your, your in-person network and translate that over to your digital sphere. Um, and then to the right of that, 99% of millennials begin their home search online. So pretty much, you know, all of the demographic that fall in the millennials are online. and I can say that is very true. Um, if I were, you know, want to work with a real estate agent, I would, you know, definitely be searching for their names online. You know, searching their social media profiles on Facebook, check out their business pages, and just to gauge, you know, to see the type of content they're posting. You know, get some market updates um, and things like that. And that's definitely a true statement there. You know, everybody's online, and that's where you're going to want to be. Um, so there's a couple stats there. Um, and again, I will follow up with this um, with this PDF, and I'll have all this information in there. I won't go over all this, but there's some great stats in there to kind of gauge what platform you should be on and kind of what the, the platform is best for. So for example, Facebook here on the left, there's 2.7 billion monthly users, so huge, huge amount there. You know, Ages is pretty much everybody, 18 to 64 plus there. So you can reach a wide variety of your target market on there. Millennials, baby boomers, Gen Z, whatever it may be. And you can see what the platform is best for. So Facebook is great for ads, videos, market insights, listings, solds, 
community related content and client testimonials. And that's essentially what it's going to be in your content calendar. Pretty much those topics, just a little more expanded and a little more personal items in there. But um, you can see each platform has a what's bets for topic. And those are great to use for your social media content calendar. So just keep that in mind when you're going through this PDF here. And it gives you your posting frequency. So you want to have a, you know, you know, a one to two postings per day cadence on there. I would say two per day is even a lot. You know, I would I would shoot for, you know, three postings a week, three to four postings a week. Kind of hit that every other day um, cadence on there. Um, so Facebook's pretty much we're going to find a wide range of your target market, especially for real estate. The next best bet is going to be Instagram just because real estate is a highly visual industry and that's what Instagram is all about. It's all about posting photos, videos, um, and creating your personal brand doing it that way. So Instagram, Facebook, really popular for real estate. Uh, moving along here. I'll skip over this. If I'm going too fast, feel free to use that chat box or have any questions, use that chat box and I will answer them when they come in through there. All right, so we're gonna get into your social media content calendar. And essentially what your social media content calendar is, is a way for you to keep your content organized and to keep your content posted on a consistent basis. Um, it just helps you organize your thoughts and it keeps um, you on track um, for posting content on a consistent basis. So you don't have a period of time where you know, you're know you not posting for a couple of days. You can have your content calendar um, set monthly in advance. That's typically the best way to do that. You know, schedule out content monthly in advance. Um, and on Facebook, you can schedule out these social media postings. So keep that in a month in advance and you can schedule your Facebook postings on your business page on Facebook. Um, so a lot of questions I get for what is a content calendar? You know, how do you keep your content calendar organized and how do you know what to post all the time? Um, so the first step you're going to want to do is make a list, you know, think about what happens in your day-to-day -day business. Think what happens in your personal life. Interject, you know, your, your personality into that. You know, you want to highlight your, your community, you know, as well as your expertise in the real estate industry. Um, so whether you're highlighting, you know, small businesses, um, you're targeting uh, content for homeowners, uh, first-time home buyers, things like that. You know, that's going to be your initial first step is to create one big list of topics um, that you want to post on the platforms. And again, you can use this outline the same week or month in this case, because consistency is key in social media. Um, and I'll, I'll get into the consistency next, um, moving on to the second step. So once you have all your, your topics outlined, um, you can move that into a spreadsheet. You can cons consolidate your list into a spreadsheet, breaking it down by day, platform, stories, videos, news feed postings. Um, and you can even include notes in there for hashtags, captions, things like that so to get it preset, just to have it all laid out. Um, so on, let's see, let's move to the next step here. So post and repeat will be your, your third step. So now that you have your social media content calendar, you can use that every week or monthly is, is gonna be your best practice to have your content calendar set monthly. And again, you can schedule those through your Facebook business page scheduler. Um, and on that um, content calendar, you're gonna to wanna to include your publishing date. So date and time, have that on the date and the time as well you know, the type of content, whether it's a photo, a video, you know, a testimonial, a graphic, a blog posting, you know, have that um, categorized out to keep it a little bit more organized on your end. You don't feel too overwhelmed. So the more organized you can keep this on a monthly basis, the better. So you have your topic as well, the status, if it's ongoing if it's, or it's been published. 
And a really good idea for these um, content calendar postings is to include call to actions. So the call to action is going to direct users to take next steps with that posting. Um, so instead of a user just reading your posting on the newsfeed, um, that call to action will give them next steps to take with that post. So whether it be, you know, click on the blog posting below, um, click on this link to find out more information, um, or something like an engagement, you know, comment below with your thoughts on this topic. So a call to action is going to direct your users to take, take next steps with your social media postings rather than just scrolling past it onto the next posting. That CTA will make them stop and hopefully engage with that posting. Um, so those are your, your three main steps. Again, we're going to make a list of all the topics you want to talk about. You're going to put those into a spreadsheet or a calendar, like a Google calendar. Um, I'll show you an example on Canva. Um, they have a great calendar templates already preset. You just got to input your information and your content calendar is set for that monthly basis. Um, actually, next, next month, I'll be doing a webinar on Canva. So that might be a good idea to attend that to see how you can customize these elements within Canva. And Canva is a great user-friendly graphic design editor there. All right, so you got that in a spreadsheet, and then you can go ahead and post and schedule and repeat for that month. And again, it's good to have a consistent um, topic. So whether it be, um, it's good to have a to topic for each day of the week. So if it's on Monday, maybe you have a Monday motivation quote. Um, if it's Tuesday, maybe it's a real estate Tuesday tip or a testimonial Tuesday. Wednesday could be listing of the week Wednesday. Thursday could be your, your housing market report. Um, Friday might be cool to include something like a fun fact Friday. Um, Saturdays could be um, to promote your real estate business and yourself. And then Sunday could be a small business Sunday topic where you're highlighting something in your community for people to check out. Um, and another great tip, um, other than that call to action on your postings, is to, you're going to include, let me get this, let me make sure I get this right here. Where did I put that? All right, I will get to that in a second there. All right, so we're gonna get into some examples you can include on your content calendar. I think I might have some questions here. Oh, no questions yet. Again, feel free to use that chat box there. Or if I'm going too fast or I need a backup, feel free to let me know there. All right, so for your content calendar um, post ideas, um, so your personal post, ah, here it is right here. This was the next best practice I was going to get into. You want to follow the 80-20 rule. So 80% of your content is going to be content that informs, educates, entertains your audience. So things like uh, real estate infographics, uh, weekly um, uh, community happenings, um, highlighting stuff that's going on in your community, you know, um, you know, blog postings, local events, concerts, events. So 80% is going to be like your lifestyle postings. Um, and the separate 20% is going to be postings about you and your business. So if you have a new listing, open houses, things like that, um, if you have like comparable market analysis you can include on there for your 20% as well as company news and happening. So there's a cool Coldwell Banker campaign, you know, feel free to use that for your 20% in your content. So that's a good general rule of thumb to stick with is that 80-20 rule. So 80% will be personal, 20% will be everything else to promote you in your business. So that can be an example of your content calendar is use the 80-20 rule when you're putting that together. So market insights, again, this will fall on the 
So whether it's a buyer, seller tips, latest housing news, quickly monthly updates, sharing postings, marketing insights, um, these are going to be great to include as well on your content calendar. And make sure you're, you're inserting those on a consistent basis. So if it's a market news Monday, you know, hit that every Monday where you're including an infographic or a link to a market insights posting article online. Um, and it's a great way to build reputation as a real estate that knows what's going on, not just, you know, in your industry, but also in the local communities that you live, work, and play in. So you have your market insights, you have your personal postings following the 80-20 rule. Um, so another example you could use for topics within your content calendar are client spotlights and testimonials. Um, video content is huge, huge on social media. That's actually something we're gonna be doing a lot more on our end at the headquarters. Um, but video content is essential for social media. So what are, you could do a client testimonial in a video format, you know, just ask them, you know, film yourself and your, your experience working with me um, during your, your selling process or home buying process. Um, that's a great thing to include on there. It's, it's great to build trust and it builds that report. Um, if it's not a video, you know, create a professional looking graphic on canva.com. Um, again, next month I will go over canva.com, so stay tuned for that. Um, but if you want to get a head start, you know, create a, an account on canva.com, you know, and check out what they have to offer. They have, you know, thousands and thousands of pre made templates that are all free, ready to go for you to customize. Uh, so you have your client spotlights, testimonials, that could be like a testimonial Tuesday, um, your listing in homes. So whether you're a listings or a buyer's agent, you could use your feed to showcase what you do best and let your captions do the rest. And so that's where your call to action will come into play as well. You know, use local hashtags that will generate more reach and think about using hashtags on Instagram. That's where they perform the best. Um, and hashtags kind of act as like a categorizer. Um, so if it was like a new house in Birmingham, you could do a hashtag um, Birmingham real estate. That's a good idea to keep those localized because people are always searching for those hashtags to kind of categorize out the content they want to see when searching. So hashtags are always nice to include in your content calendar postings when you're scheduling that out. So stories, ideas, this is great for your video content, kind of day in the life of real estate. You know, you're always on the go, whether it be on a new listing, you're visiting a client, um, you're at a real estate convention, you know, highlight what you're doing in the, on your day-to-day -day activities. Um, a lot of stuff you're doing is, is you know, fun fun to, to keep, keep up to date with. You know, people are interested in seeing what's going on. And again, and that's that's where social media comes into play. You know, people want to see who they're working with before they, they're working with them. And so this kind of gives you your personality um, and the things you're doing in your day-to-day -day -day business there. Um, and the, the story postings are separate from your feed postings. So on Instagram and on Facebook, you have the option to do story postings. And these story postings will be featured at the top of your friends and followers and news feeds. So it's a great way to stay top of mind um, because every time you share a new story, that will place that story at the top of their news feeds and your name will be displayed there pretty consistently if you're posting the stories. Um, it's a good way to get you a know, be behind the scenes look at your life and it can be both professional and um, personal. So if you're at a sporting event, you know, highlight that, put that in your stories, keep it up to date. Um, if, if it's something professional, like a real estate convention, you know, highlight that within your day-to-day -day stories postings. Um, and within those stories, you have a lot of options, include engagements, and one of those is polling. And it's a great way to show off your listings without, you know, being too salesy in there. So again, video content is huge. And if you want to dive into video content, stories is probably where you want to first start off to get the ball rolling. And then you can start off into your video feed um, content postings. The stories, 
great to get into. Um, I'll move along here. Do I have any questions regarding the topics for your content calendar and the, and the things you should be focusing on? I have a question. Yeah. Do you think that um, it's wise to pay to promote? Because I see when you pay to promote, you could reach about 1,200 to 2,000 people a day. Yeah, like that, $10. That's, a, that's a great, great question there. Definitely, you know, it'd be, I, th I think a good first step would be to have your content calendar and have that first month postings go out and then check those analytics and um, yeah. what whatever posting performed the best throughout that month you know, boost those postings out to a wider range um, because, yeah, because you, you're able to reach um, users outside of just your network. So people outside who've liked your page, um, it allows you to target um, by local um, target areas, interests, things like that. So gr great idea there. So have that first month postings go out, do a recap once that month has concluded and boost those postings that perform the best. Awesome, okay, thank you. And kind of a cool little pro tip there is, you know, run ads, boost your postings within an area that has an event going on. So if there's a real estate convention going on or um, like a, a rally going on for like food and stuff like that, um, you know, target that area within that market because you know, you're guaranteed to know there's, there's people in that area on their phones um, so that's a good little pro tip there is if you're going to run an ad, you know, target an area that has an event going on. Um, let's see. Thank so you. Glenda, you're welcome. So Glenda, how do you create a hashtag? So hashtag is um, essentially just a pound sign, which is the, you know, shift three on your keyboard. And you're going to include a um, short, one or two words in there about that posting. So it can, it can vary um, between what's in that hashtag and what you're posting. Again, you know, you want to focus on local hashtags. So, you know, Birmingham Real Estate, um, Royal Oak Real Estate, just listed new listings um, with that city attached to it. Um, and there you go, right there, someone typed in there. So yeah, that, that's a good visual example in there. So hashtag, let's sell your home on there. Um, so thank you for that. And so now that we got your, your content calendar topics kind of outlined, um, again, you want to keep that content calendar consistent. So your Mondays are always going to be the same. Your Tuesdays are going to be the same. Um, and this is just to give a consistent cadence so your followers can expect those postings on that day. Um, and I'm going to share a content calendar here. Let this get pulled up. All right, so here's just a, a basic example of what your content calendar could look like. Again, it's it looks just like a Gmail calendar, or you can create something online or in Canva. They have those pre-made templates for a calendar. So you can see on Mondays, they have a market analysis. Um, and then Tuesdays, they have, they're sharing their favorite book. Um, and again, they're just outlining the topic that's going to be on that day. Um, um, also, it's a good topic to have in your content calendar is to highlight um, events or, excuse me, holidays that are happening within that month. Um, so for April this month, Earth Day is going to be on the 22nd. So having a posting for Earth Day is always fun to have in there. And there you could create a cool graphic, you could create a um, a graphic with a quote on there or a fun fact about Earth Day. Um, so it's always nice to, you know, schedule those out, those holiday events out on your content calendar in advance just for your, your filler postings in there. Um, and you can see on Fridays, uh, there's post local events and it's consistent down there on the following week after that. And then for like our example, we have like a Monday motivation. So you'd have that scheduled out for each Monday. And then Tuesday testimonial, you create a Tuesday testimonial graphic. Wednesday, listing the week Wednesday. Thursday could be like a housing market update. 
fun fact Fridays, and you could have that consistent throughout there. And Saturday, your small business Saturday, you know, give a shout out to your local business um, on social media there. And if you're going to do a small business posting, you know, tag them in your postings. That's always a good tip to include. So if we were to tag them in your postings, that would give them a notification on their end, and they're more likely to engage with your postings. So that small business could like, comment, and share that posting to their followers. So if you're going to include a business, you know, tag that business in your postings. Um, I always enjoy it when I see someone tag CBWM in their postings. I'm always engaging with it. I'm sharing it. And then that helps them as well on their end. And so again, here is just an example. I will follow um, up this webinar with this example as well to give you a visual. And again, once you have this, this content calendar scheduled out, outlined within the calendar, you can head into your Facebook business page to schedule these postings. Um, you can't schedule on the personal side. It only has the option for your business page. So that's one of the benefits of having a business page is you have the option to schedule as well as run those boosted postings and ads. So if you don't have a business page, that's probably a good first step after you create your content calendar is create a Facebook business page. Um, and I'm always here to help you with that as well. So feel free to reach out. I can walk you through that. We can set up a meeting and I can help you with that setup. Um, and now I'm going to head over to Canva. So Canva is a great user-friendly graphic design tool, and it's going to come in huge, huge handy for your content calendar after you have those topics scheduled out. So whether it's your Monday motivation graphic, if you keep up to date with our CBWM content on our Facebook pages, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, or on the CVHB side, you can see I have a consistent template that I follow for that Monday motivation graphic. Um, so just people can be on the lookout for that and it gives a consistent cadence. And that's where Canva is going to come into play is to create those high quality looking graphics. And for today, we're going to focus just on that content calendar. And I, I logged in. You can log in with your Facebook there. Um, to create an account it is free. You can upgrade your account to the pro version, but the free version, totally satisfactory with what they offer. You know, tons of templates that you can customize. So I, I just did a search for calendar right up there in the search bar there, and it uncovered over 1,600 templates there for calendar options. So any of these are customizable. Some of them will be pro, and you'll see that icon in the lower light, lower, excuse me, lower left-hand side of those templates. So the pro versions, not everything will be editable, um, but you can still use it. And the majority is going to be free, so no worries there. Again, you can scroll through all these. If there's a layout you like, you can click on it. And let me show you an example here just real quick. You don't have to get too fancy with it, but it just helps for you know a even layout, professional looking layout as well. And it brings a little fun element into it. And it helps you get familiar with that tool as well for your graphics, um, new listing postings, things like that. Because that's what's going to bring your page to life is to create that branding style with your templates, colors, layouts, and fonts. All right, so I'm gonna show you this um, example here and I will wrap up in just a moment. So I clicked on that template and it brought, brought up the editing phase. So each part of this is customizable. So if you hover over it, um, you'll see a little blue outline over each aspect there. Um, if you wanted to include a text box on the left side panel here. You can include your text box and that's where you can insert your content calendar item graphics throughout the month there. And and I just encourage everyone to get into Canva. You know, I'm using this tool. You know, it's pretty fun to get into what they are 
excitement. You know, it gets that that creative. Um, rather than just doing a text posting, having a visual on that posting will do the engagement, and you can kind of refine that strategy um, as you move along throughout the months there. So it's a little slow on my end here. Um, I think it's because I got so many tabs open here. And um, but again, visit Canva, check out the template. So you're not searching for a calendar template, you know, search for a new listing template or a testimonial template, a fun fact Friday template. That's going to uncover tons and tons of pre-made templates that you can click on and insert your own custom elements in there right away. And you can download them and then post them right onto your social media channels. Um, and with that, that's essentially it. You know, your content calendar is going to keep your content organized. It's going to keep a consistent cadence and it's going to allow you to you know, free up that time where you can schedule that content and not have to worry about, about these filler postings throughout that month. Um, so if you have questions, I'm going to follow up this webinar with a recording and I will have these supplemental documents in there. And if you'd like to give me a call, shoot me an email, I'm definitely happy to answer any questions you may have about this topic. And next month, I'm going to cover this, this platform right here, canva.com. So keep an eye out for that coming next month.